What's up? What's happening? Y'all face ass. What's been going on? Well, me, I've been going to funeral after funeral. My been so much going on that I had to, you know, get my mind right. Still got a couple more funerals to go to, but I'll be all right, you know. But I had to get out here to talk about BTB Savage and um his mother, the post she made, you know. I had never heard of him before. I'm not going to lie. Never heard of about the shooting. Never heard of him in my life. But she makes a post saying that, you know, kind of saying, all right, she said that her son went on Vlad on the 17th of March, then dropped it to the 29th of March. Now, he's supposed to came to talk about music, but we know Vlad. Vlad wouldn't even have him come if he wouldn't have got shot. Only reason why you was there because of what happened to you, who you shot. Vlad did not want to talk about no music, okay? And to me, he happily spoke about the shooting, you know what I'm saying? If he, you know, his mama said he said he didn't want to talk about it, R.I.P. to that man. No, that was not what we saw on Vlad. Vlad kept questioning him and questioning him, and he was answering. You know what I'm saying? But this is what got to me and made me make this video. She said that the day he was killed, that he was texting her all day, like something that happened, I don't feel right. My It's my friends. These folks finna set me up. They finna kill me. She like, come on, get to Vegas. You know what I'm saying? So while he was on his way to Vegas trying to get to the airport, that's where they died. I mean, that's when he died, okay? Right after that, you know, that's when um his house got broken too. Now, one of his homeboys or something had the keys to the house, whatever. I don't know how they go. But the house got raided, stole all his clothes, jewelry, all of that. And she said that he that my it was his brothers, the ones he ate with, his homeboys, who sat out there and videotaped his body. You know what I'm saying? And she like, I turned in the uh, camera of them breaking in the house. I mean, the footage. And she like, I'm very confident that, you know, this person will be brought to justice very soon. So, you know, she talking like she know, you know, like, you know, she said he even told me what to do. So it's like, you know, he said it was his friends. I feel like he told her who it was. She know exactly who he who he was speaking about, exactly what friends, you know, she know a lot, you know what I mean? And he did the right thing by letting his mama know everything, you know what I mean? But all the thing I'm saying is, my lady, be careful because they will come and put you in the same place where your son is. If you know all of this, you need to give up the knives, you need to do whatever you need to do. Because while you making the post and saying that they got the videos out, guess what? They're not in police custody yet. Your son killers are not locked up yet. Okay? They you said you were in Vegas. You letting these people know a little bit too much, but people bereave differently, you know? And, you know, she kind of blamed it on Vlad and I am too because Vlad only wanted to talk about that. He only he only told him, look, let's talk about that. That's going to make people go look at your music. Trust me, this going to blow you up. But we can't just talk about your music and not talk about what happened to you. You know what I'm saying? And he went for it. He wanted to get his career out here. He wanted people to know who he was more and get in the limelight. And by him saying that he, you know, got an intruder and really he didn't kill anybody or shoot anybody, but his girlfriend did. But for him to have this story and make it out alive and all the reason why he was shot was because his girlfriend shot the wrong way. You know, he didn't know that this old my dude was a big time dude, okay? Now he was in San Antonio, Houston, something like that. You know, like you in this man background, you know what I mean? He asked you, was you gonna move? You said no, you know what I mean? But like I said, the video came out 12 days later, you know, but he died right after that, you know what I'm saying? 
But he did send a bunch of texts to his mother, and his mother has the receipts. And he said, and she said it was his friends, not not none of all my people, not none of the people. No, not what we was all expecting. What well, what y'all were saying? Cause I haven't made a video or said nothing about it till now. But I was seeing a lot of speculation, and all of y'all was wrong. Okay, it was the people that he was around. This is what his mother is saying and in her Facebook post. She got a long Facebook post, okay? Uh, Vera v v Ward or something like that. Uh, Veronica Ward, something like that to the not. But, man, it's getting crazy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, <laughs> your own people setting you up to get you out of here. If that's true, man, that is going to be a sad story, bro. Super sad. So we just got to wait until the arrests are made when the videos and stuff come out. If it was his homeboys, man, y'all some bitch-ass niggas. Real talk. But uh, I ain't going to keep y'all long, man. I just want to reach out, man. You know, RIP to that guy. Like I said, I had never heard of him, but the story was very interesting, you know. So I came and spoke about it, especially when his mother talked. And said that he was texting her all day long, okay? And he was just about to get to the plane on his way to the airport. And that's when they killed him. Kind of makes sense. They know he's finna leave. If he get out of here, they're not going to be able to. So, that's, that's what she said, alright? So, y'all just be careful, man. Just remember, I love all y'all.